Today on Toy Shiz, the haunting of Grey Skull continues. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Mattel. And today we are totally checking out their brand new San Diego Comic Con 2021 exclusive, their Masters of the Universe Revelation Scare Glow figure. And of course, yes, right over in the corner, this is based off the upcoming Netflix original series, Motu Revelation. A very cool shipper box. Not much going on on the sides, but on the back side, you get a gorgeous piece of Scare Glow artwork designed by Eamon O'Donoghue. Please check out his work. On Instagram, just a heads up, the product contains a magnet, includes flashes, all that good stuff, dispose of batteries safely. On the bottom of the box, here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. And like I said, this is just the shipper box. This entire thing was designed by Mattel's Roy Juarez, and he did a stellar job on this. Now, you have the shipper box, right? And then you open up the flap right here, pull this open, and then you get a bit of an instruction booklet. So you have Revelation, Scare Glow, open it up, and you get to see really how the figure kind of works in the sense of the actual box. And then on the other side, you get to see how to remove the batteries, change the batteries, take them out, safe storage, yada yada. I'm glad that they included something like that. But this is really where the skeleton magic happens. And you pull this out and you get this gorgeous book it's like the book of scare glow and i have it on good authority that this is kind of hinting at the fact of the old mini comic right here i love this is scare glow you get the big old face on him the mini comic of the search for keldor so in the sense of hey maybe skeletor has this book and he can summon scare glow and that's just really kind of interesting so they went whole book of magic book of evil spells and it really translates well with the packaging design, all the old pages, hardcover of the book. But this right here slips off. And then you kind of go to Subternia right here. Yeah, I did my research on that. And you can see Scareglow kind of peering out, doing his whole spooky thing right there in the die cuts of the box. And on the back side, yeah, you can see him to and fro. So depending on the angle, you'll see him every which way. And then right here on the bottom of the box, you can see this tab right here. And that's where the batteries are going to go. So if you got a screwdriver, you can remove them, change them out, take them out, remove this part right here so that you can get the lights going on inside. And it opens just like a book. And you got some lights flickering. Well, that doesn't look very good. Why don't we close this up and do it right way, right? Shut the lights off. And yeah, this is where it's happening. Open it up again, and you get to see Scareglow come to life in this whole spooky sort of motif. I mean, it really brings the whole ghost aspect to it. It's got the flickering light. He's all spooky looking like, hey, you just summon me Skeletor. What's up? What do you need? But you get to see the lights inside. In a way, it's kind of like turning the pages of a book where you finally get to the last chapter which reveals Scare Glow, and you can remove him from the packaging. And everything is very collector-friendly. You can put him back in the box, take him out, display him when you're all done, put him back in, yada yada. So this is going to be a blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot, spooky cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Mattel San Diego Comic-Con. Mattel Creations now exclusive, Motu Revelations, Scare Glow. And of course, here's the glow-in-the-dark ghost with the most out of the packaging. And this is a very cool skeleton man right here. This figure rocks. I absolutely love the cape on him. He looks like he stepped right out of the new trailer for Motu Revelation. Very spooky. And, hey, did you know this? He's going to be voiced in the cartoon by Tony Todd, the Candyman himself. So that's all I see now. It's like Keith David with Spawn. He comes with a number of different accessories including a brand new power sword. And this looks like it stepped right out of the trailer. Now, obviously, as of this video, I have not seen the cartoon. I'm only going by what they've shown in the two trailers. But of course, yes, they're incorporating the whole two halves of the power sword because, as you can see, it comes with the power sword the holder, the handle, everything else. And then these two pieces, of course, split right down the middle, just like He-Man did in the new trailer so again it's kind of cool seeing them incorporate that whole two halves of the power sword skeletor's got one half he-man's got the other and then it goes into one really cool sword and it holds it well 
It's very cool, very toyetic. He does come with some extra hands as well. And as you can see, this hand right here is a bit see-through. It's painted to be a little bit creepy, a little spooky right there. And then a fisted hand because of course, who doesn't want to get punched by Scareglow? I mean, everyone's lining up for that. He also comes with his Scare Scythe, or that's just what I'm calling it. Really nice green to a light green right there on the blade. It's done nicely. It's kind of reminds me of the He-Man Origins blade, but done in a much more adult way. And of course, just for scalage, here's the power sword and his scythe as well. Now with the figure himself, this rocks. This is my new favorite Masters of the Universe revelation figure out of the initial wave one. He's done fantastic. He looks cool. He's got these semi-transparent ghost spooky hands right there. He's got some boots. You can kind of see underneath his little cloth right there. All the bones are painted. It's just interesting. I This is like, I love Halloween creepy kind of toys. Fantastic tattered cape on him. Kind of wish Spawn would do this. You know what I mean? And it's a bendy wire cape. And right there on the sides, you can get it into all kinds of cool poses. And it's cut in a way where, yeah, you would expect a skeleton ghost to have this tattered cape. It's awesome. You can see on the underside how it all kinds of fits together. You pop his head off, you can get everything off and do it that way if you so choose. But really, the bendy wire is awesome. Now, this is kind of funny. I'm not even mad that this is on here. I think it's actually hilarious, and I'm glad they put it in there. It's like, hey, if your cape gets dirty, throw it in the washing machine, just like you would do on clothes. Fortunately, it's like a giant tag, but for the most part, it kind of clings to the cape, so you don't really notice it. You can probably cut it off if you want. I'll leave mine on because I'm a crazy person, but I really like just everything going on about this guy. The articulation is very cool. You can twist his head. You can make him look down. You can make him look up. You do get a lot of articulation in the head, so that is very cool. And of course, the face itself, the glowing red eyes, awesome. Just very cool, right up my alley. The ab crunch, mm, I would say it moves around. It kind of swivels here and there. I wouldn't say it has a definite ab crunch element to it. He will spin at the waist. The arms work very good, right? They'll go up, down, left, right, everything, ball jointed shoulder. Now, he will get hindered in the sense of the top part of his cape, his little spawn Doctor Strange deal. He does have bicep swivel and it rocks to and fro and he also has double jointed elbows as well. Nice range of motion. And just for comparison, you can see the open hands all are transparent, whereas the fisted hand is not just adds a little bit of a ghostly element to it but i like that they did that especially in the open hand right there i don't know that's just very cool to me he does have slices on the sides of his tunic thing so you can put his legs off to the side if you wanted to do that it'll kind of hinder the movement of the legs if you wanted to do the splits but really, with Scareglow, are you really doing splits? I'm glad it's there, but, you know, unnecessary. He does have thigh swivel. He's got double-jointed knees. Just go easy on him. They're kind of stiff a little bit. He will rock right there at the boot. Nice hidden articulation, and he's got some really nice feet. He holds steady. He stands well. Peg holes on the bottom of his feet. This figure rocks. <laughs> I absolutely love the look of this figure. It's awesome. In terms of He-Man... Rocking that new power sword. I think it works really well. And it really adds to the whole like, well, I'm interested in the show. What's going to happen? And you can even have him split the power sword down the middle right there and hold it on either side. So that's cool. That's a nice little thrown in Easter egg. If you've got the new He-Man, you can do this right off the bat. Fingers crossed. The cartoon is good. I'm really hoping for it. And you got the base of the power sword still right there. So you can do what you want with that. Also, if you're wondering... Yeah, Scareglow will hold that. He can hold the two halves, yada, yada. If you were wondering if the new sword will fit in the back of his harness, it will. The only thing is that I think that because of instituting the two halves of the power sword, it makes the sword a little bit too big in some aspects. Like you can see the difference between the two. First power sword fits a little bit better, but I like the element that removed the blade. So yeah, it's a kind of like a give and take sort of thing. In terms of height comparison, He-Man is taller than Scareglow. He is the same size as Skeletor. He could be also be the ghost of Skeletor if you wanted to go that route. And of course, yes, like all the other characters, shorter than Skelegod. He's taller than Evil Lynn, which makes sense to me. And he's like a smidge shorter than Moss Man. And if you were wondering, 
if you wanted to put him with some true flame glow heroes here he is with the toy biz johnny blaze his little gloves glow in the dark on this guy <laughs> I think what's really cool though is that I really like the Scareglow He-Man Origins figure. That was my first Scareglow. You can pop the head on this guy if you want. I don't think it really fits, but it can make for a fun Halloween figure. I don't know. But now we've come to it. Who glows in the dark best? Let's shut the lights off. Three, two, one, and boom. Oh, that's a little disappointing. <laughs> so the He-Man Origins Scareglow Full body glows, right? Just the head on the new Scare Glow glows. That is a bummer and a half. I was thinking that all the bones and everything was gonna glow. Ah, so it's just, it's kind of like head glow. <laughs> not really Scare Glow. That's eh, kind of a bummer in that sense. What's not a bummer though, to be quite honest, is that this is a very cool, well done looking figure. I love the cape on this guy. I wasn't really a fan of some of the Revelation capes, especially Skelegod. This more than makes up for it. I think the joints are solid. It has the right articulation for me. I like all the weapons. He comes with extra hands. I would say just one of the bummers being that just his head glows. I would have preferred the entire body, something to that extent. But overall, I think it's going to make a great addition to your Motu Revelation collection and as you can see yeah i think they're off to a good start so far they're like a, you can go back and look at my other videos on these there's hiccups here and there but i think in all honesty the best figures so far is officially battle cat and now this new scare glow figure so that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new mattel masters of the universe motu revelation scare glow figure now this was supposed to be a san diego comic-con 2021 exclusive we all know what happened there you can grab this guy starting july 22nd on the brand new mattelcreations.com website should hit in and around 9 a.m pacific they're saying that's what's being told to me july 22nd early morning pacific and hopefully you'll be able to grab one love the cape Love the glow-in-the-dark element, although I do wish the glow-in-the-dark element was all over the figure. That's one, that's like the main thing that I'm like, no, oh, come on. I like the extra weapons, I like the extra hands, and the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Always with the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, but I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Scare Glow, and thank you again to Mattel for sending this out to give you guys this early look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, just a few more days. And we'll be seeing what Scareglow really do on Netflix's Motu Revelation show. Can't wait. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.